Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time, we went all the way up here from all the way down there. And if you save and quit, before you pick up the heart container, it makes you go all the way back up. And it makes you have to dodge all the bokoblins and look like a big old bingus. So I did that for you, so you didn't have to see that. But we have some questing. To accomplish. And if you like that, if you could like the video, comment, and subscribe. First off, let's go ahead and get this heart container. Yeah. That's our reward for fighting and killing Big Bird. We got some story to progress. Let's move along the plot. Today's episode is going to be pretty plot heavy. So, ready or not, here comes the plot. Do we remember who was standing in this area before, viewers? Any ideas of maybe any sort of big bad guy that could be around? There's the bird's little nest. Let's give him a little, little welcoming. Let us in. Hello, housekeeping. Oh, Dad, is that you? Nice robe. Compliments of the hotel. It's a five star. It's been a while, boy. Not enough cigarettes and milk in the world to keep me away from you. Or, yeah. This would probably be way more impactful if there was, like, some sort of ominous music. Or, you know, nothing. Why not? But this is our first real experience of meeting Ganondorf face-to-face. -face. The master of the Forsaken Fortress. He's had a lot of Baja Blast. He's actually full of it. His body has taken on a Baja Blasty hue. Okay, he seems to know something. He's on to us. Now that we have the Master Sword, we have unlocked some evil potential. So prior to doing this, his power was... Unable to be harnessed, but now that we have the Master Sword, well, oops, that is terrifying. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack him. We have unlocked evil, and so of course our first order of business is to fall at his feet pathetically. Good job, Link. Well done. Ooh, got the old pimp slap. Does not sparkle. Okay. Apparently we're not quite powered up enough. We need a wet stone of justice. Oh, look who it is. Hi, Tetra. You sneaky little thing. So get up, you dummy. Oh, you can't hit a lady. Oh, he's not hitting her. Sorry, he's choking her. Just make sure you use the safe word. The safe word is Triforce. Okay. Oh. Looks like some interesting jewelry. Exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Uh-oh. Seems like the... The mystery has been unveiled, veiled. I don't know why I said veiled. That's a baby cow. Is it a baby cow or is it a baby lamb? It's a baby something that people eat that they shouldn't. All right. Okay. But it's delicious, D Mike. All right. So Ganondorf now is supposing, allegedly, that Tetra is Zelda. Oh. Okay. Well. Our bros, the Rito, have come to save us. Looks like that's Quill and Kamali. Thanks, guys. Oh, and Valu. Okay. The reinforcements have arrived. Thanks, guys. Pretty sweet. Oh, yes, please. Burn it down, baby. He's like, see ya. That's kind of dark, actually. I love that. Like, we get saved by our two Rito friends, and then we're just like, all right, let's go ahead and just torch him to death. 
Enjoy that. And somehow we're back at the Tower of the Gods? Okay. This isn't mysterious or anything. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty intense situation, and she did get choked out, so. Okay, so we do have confirmation that Errol is safe. Also, the boat is horn kind of looks like a thumbs up. Okay, I'm not sure what that says. Also, Vlu kind of looks like he's cross-eyed. He's like, yeah. I had too many flaming hot Cheetos. I'm sorry. I'm aware of <laughs> the boat's like, I'm aware of this. You're going to have very spicy diarrhea soon. I'm sorry. There's not much I can do, but thank you for setting that bad guy on fire. I mean, Valu is probably like a mythical creature, so I'm talking about him like as if he doesn't have any autonomy. You know, maybe this was Valu's entire idea. They're like, we're just going to go rescue Tetra, and Valu's like, no, I'm going to light him up. But my beehole hurts. Too many spicy nuggets from Wendy's. I shouldn't have gotten the dead bees. Okay. This is a little awkward. I like that they gave him little kind of tiny baby wings. Nice shot up his butt crack. Good job, game designers. Well done. There's one of the Triangle Islands in the background. Okay. So, there is more mystery to behold. Back to the B! I don't know why the game chose to deliver the exposition, but this is kind of the... I would say this is the first third of the game officially done, or maybe the first half of the game officially done. Now we're kind of into the second half of the game. I think that that seems fair based on how much I know is left. Well, he's a little toasty. He's having some s'mores. In Hyrule Heaven. Hey! Is the boat talking to us while we're on the boat? Yeah. That's what I'd like to know. We're on you. See, even Tetris confused. <laughs> that's not yours! Stop it! Okay, so now we're definitely... This is this has got to be freaking both of them out. See, who? Hold your horses. There's no horses in this game. You're supposed to show me how to get where that voice is. This is build-up is a little strange. It almost kind of feels like it's like a misleading scenario. Because... I have a feeling Tetra does know where we're going and she's just kind of playing coy. You can't, you know, unveil too much exposition on your own. And just, you know, tell the other person that you're with the importance of what's going on. Also, I love their little feet. So it appears that Tetra is maybe a little bit more than the eye can see. She had the Triforce necklace around her neck. And that must mean she's somebody special. So we're going to head down to the basement and maybe see if she can show off her true colors. Hello? Are you him? Answer me. I don't really feel like we're in a place to be able to be making demands. But anyway, stone's an enhanced gossip stone from the Hyrule royal family. And this guy made it. The Burger King? Is that you? Can I have it my way? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Tetra, all right. The DuckTales, woo -hoo! All right. I already had the thing with the power of the gods. I mean, yeah, obviously. I thought that we knew this. <gasps> oh! Daphne, that's a girl's name. Daphne, no Hanson, high rule. Is he Dutch? Link? Figure it out, dummy. Okay, so the boat has always just been a puppet this entire time, apparently.
but apparently the Master Sword is not all that it was cooked up to be. So, we're going to need to maybe get a little bit more help. Apologies in advance that this is basically what the episode is going to be. But this is kind of a big deal. Yeah, so this is kind of the... I believe this is the... Um, this is the timeline in, in Zelda where... I think Link fails to kill Ganon and he stays alive. And so... In order to try to stop Ganon, they flood the earth. And as a byproduct, Hyrule as well. Which is kind of creepy if you think about it. It's a bit like an Atlantis situation. So that's basically all the islands that you see are... The tippy tops of everywhere else. Seems a little biblical. Coincidence? Maybe. <laughs> Whoa. Whenever I am listening to somebody give me information, I always make sure that I stare at them with my mouth open. But yeah, it doesn't really seem like they did a very good job of preventing Ganondorf from coming back. Because, you know, we just met him. Oh. Who wants some cheese? What a strange outfit. I do love the art design in this game. I don't know why people hated this at, at first. Like, the cell shading is so good. It looks a little bit less, I guess kind of novel because you know we've seen it now and the HD kind of removes the charm a little bit you know you're watching this when you were younger 2002 2003 on on a tube TV so obviously this probably doesn't look quite as classic in a sense better but not the same you're never gonna touch me make sure you wear your Triforce before you go to school The reason that you live. I'm going to show you why you were born. Oh, more cheese. So when a mama Triforce and a daddy Triforce love each other very much. The love produces the bee. Oh. I never would have guessed. She probably was way more comfortable in her pirate outfit, though. This looks a little bit constraining. If you're a real woman, you'll have to wear a dress and stop wearing comfy clothes. But yeah, there you have it. So Tetra is true heir of the royal family. And uh, actually Princess Zelda. Pretty nice outfit. I like this iteration of Zelda. I don't think this is the best Zelda. I think that probably belongs to Skyward Sword Zelda, but this is a pretty close top five. And here you go, Zelda's Lullaby. One of the best songs in the series. I'll shut up for a second. No, you're not. I don't think it's possible to hear this song and not feel like super nostalgic. Like this is probably, this is probably the song that gets me every time. I like any song from Link's Awakening because it was my favorite in first Zelda, but this song definitely gets me. The eyes get a little sweaty when we hear it. But yeah, this basically put a target on Zelda's back, so. We get the power, the power from the Master Sword here, and that kind of wakes Ganondorf's latent power, which then, by proxy, causes Tetra to realize that now she's Princess Zelda. And now there's a beacon, a bacon, 
and he's going to be coming after us real hot. Lend me your strength. Too many whoppers in Baja Blast. So apparently just getting the Master Sword is not good enough. Seems like we've gotten a, a Wish.com version of the Master Sword and we need to get the real one. So you're going to have to pop a squat. You know, you were the leader of a pirate crew, very independent and autonomous, and now that you're officially a woman, you can uh, hang back, even though you're probably more powerful and equipped than anybody. Probably the most useful person, and we're just going to make her sit on her hands. Um, Sexist, King of Red Lions. We must go. I thought he already did. We saw that pee. Oh. Not chill. Stop teleporting. Is this Breath of the Wild again? What is the point of this? You have legs. Although, if I could teleport, I probably wouldn't walk either. And then I would also be probably a thousand pounds. There's just too many Lunchables out there. I mean, kind of, yeah. We were just hanging out. Looking through things in our telescope and our lobster shirt. Enjoying the view on our little cute island. And you decided to stop by and ruin it. So technically everything is your fault. So maybe take some ownership, Zelda. And because of that, you can hang out here. Hope you brought a book or something. I wonder how much of this actually is a surprise to her or if she did know. I mean... And the amount of times that you see her and she winks and she's like, yeah, I'm going to help you out. Like this feels almost like a false, re like a false realization. Also, that just kind of like shuts her in. They're like, oh, see you. Hope you don't mind. Are there lights down there? Like, obviously this is a magical area. So I'm, I'm overthinking the dumbest parts of this, of course. Oh yeah, look at that. We have uh, one extra heart. Okay, so are you done? Being weird. Listen well. Don't tell me what to do. Something has happened to the sages. Okay. In Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north, and the Earth Temple to the south. Okay. Oh, Gan Ganon is erect. That's not good. Some sort of magical barrier down here blocking our path to the temples? Okay, so... Basically what the game is telling you is that you're going to have to do a little bit of exploring to get to these areas. Like, you weren't already doing that. Yeah, this is this is just kind of dumb. It's just it's setting the scene a little bit, but the game is just essentially telling you, yeah, you're going to have to go and find these areas. Duh, we knew that. It's out on the Great Sea where you've been this entire time. I never would have guessed. Thank you, game. Isn't that crazy? Holy smokes. Yeah, I don't know. It's supposed to it's it's trying real hard to I don't know, be cool, I guess, and be like, "Oh yeah, this is you know, a cool way to move the plot along, but it's pretty obvious what they're trying to set up. You're just doing more plot progression. Try force of courage. That's ours. Oh, yeah. Eventually, we will be doing uh, the Triforce Shard Quest. That's probably one of the worst parts of this game. I don't think I've ever actually gone that far. But you will be needing Triforce charts. And there's a little goofy fairy wearing green spandex that is going to... Help us out. All right, so we will probably, let's check our map real quick. As you can see, the King of Red Lions has marked our, our map here. And 
you can go and do that right away if you want to or you can get some more goodies out on the great sea if you want to um i think we're gonna grab a couple things before we leave here in this area i mean i shouldn't say this area i'm making it sound like there's things actually to get here um We've got the skull hammer now, so we can do a little bit of work. So first things first. You'll understand here in a minute. We're going to make the wind go east. So one of the things that we're running a little bit low on, and not technically, I guess. Oops. Oh, we can't actually go speed quick until we leave the Tower of the Gods. It's like, no, 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 no. Not until you leave my parking lot. So we're actually going to be heading two squares east. There is a... A wonderful upgrade. You'll understand. I figured I might as well do this while I'm in the area. And take care of fully upgrading and outfitting Link. Whoa, no thank you. All right, almost there. There's a beetle shop, actually. I'm kind of low on bait. I'm just cruising on over here. This is a, this is a regular beetle shop. I think we noticed that the fancy one, he was wearing the helmet in the picture itself. So, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not, it's not necessary at all. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we can sell you things. I'm not worried about it. Thank you. Do I only have the one? Oh, you have two, okay, so we'll buy two. You technically only need bait in as many squares on the map there is, I think. Uh, how many squares are on that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, okay. There's 49 squares. So technically you need 49 baits. I mean, unless the islands that you start with don't count or something, but. All right, onward. Distraction simulator engaged, let's go. All right. So we are headed way, 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 away from here to that island over there. Now that we have the skull hammer, we're able to take advantage of this. You can't until you go and get that. So this game is intentionally railroading you away from this spot. But you'll understand here in a moment. This is very valuable and something you don't have to do. But, um... I want to. Ooh, looks like we got a letter too. You just got a letter, you just got a letter. We're being attacked by a bunch of crap. Let's check it out. All right, so as you can see, we have hammer switches. So we'll check that out in a second. But first, wet mail. Cash on the, what? 201 rupees. Okay, I don't know, I don't know what this is. Incredible chart. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you actually do need this, so. The incredible chart. Now we can get the Triforce charts and shards. You probably don't need that in the classic sense. Like, you can probably get away with, you know, looking up a guide or something, but. Also, I did not think that that should have counted. But yeah, this is Thorn Fairy Island, by the way. I bet you'll never guess what we're going to find in here. Yeah, boy. This is one cool upgrade that we're going to get today. Yes. She's covered in pee. Oh. Oh, it smells. 
If it's yellow, let it mellow. Cool. And you get a full heal from that, obviously. So it's nice now that we have the ability to use 60 arrows. That's our maximum for now. But it's not... Ooh, actually, you know what? While we're here, let's go and prison some sacred beings. Yay! Now you're sad, but you're mine. Slavery's fun when it's a cartoon. Okay, so we have one more stop to make. You'll understand in just a second. So now we are going to do the... Ooh. Oh, there's a blue... Blue Chew here. Get your subscription to Blue Chew. And just like Ganon, you will be... Okay. So now that that's there, we're going to get the... Wind Waker out and maybe check out the bottom of here. I literally just looked at that and almost forgot what it was right away. Actually, we have to be on the boat, don't we? This was a waste of time. I'm stupid. Ooh. But free money. We'll take that. Yeah, Battle of the Gales. Only possible on the boat. That's not a mistake I've made before. All right, here we go. Uh, nope. <laughs> Literally just did it. That's brutal. Okay, so we're actually headed to, um, let me see. This is, we're headed to Tingle Island. This one? You can't do this specific one until you've done the Forsaken Fortress quest. The game won't let you, obviously. This is another... Can't do this until you get the Skull Hammer. The Skull Hammer, I guess, is like your plot device at this point. I do really like the, the, the Wind Waker song, though. It's very, like, comforting to me, and it's the one that I screw up the least. So maybe that's why I enjoy it. But a little bit of sailing to do. Ooh, money. We just dropped a bunch of it on that dumb chart. So, you know what, Jaws? How'd you back off? I'm salvaging. Stop. Stop. This seems like this is too far. Yup. Let's spin her around. <laughs> just like very awkwardly. Did he just run into the boat? That's funny. Can you stop it? I'm trying to get money. Imagine somebody coming into the bank and like trying to bite you. Alright, I need to at least go far enough away because I think I oh, I did overshoot it and then I undershot it. Alright, this looks good. Give me the money. No whammies. There we go. Just your run-of-the-mill purple rupee. I almost said blurple. Not a thing. Yay, more money. Yeah, I probably will. No, I'm not. I said I was going to skip those instead of showing them. I'm absolutely not going to skip them. I'm going to probably show them every time. All right, let's look at the map. We need to go. Wait a second. I am doing. What does this say on my. Okay. So we're headed east and I got real confused for a second. I was like, which one's east? You said west? I do believe, I'm gonna skip that because I don't feel like doing it. The island way, 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 way in the distance. That's where we're headed. Nothing really feels intimidating anymore because we're just so OP. You can take down these gunboats too. I don't, I feel like there is a prize, but I don't know what it is. Probably the satisfaction of spilling the blood of our enemies. I love how the music only really kicks in when the shark's around. But as you can see, this island is a little bit aflame. So, oddly enough, this is the only one that's like this. This is not the only area in the game that's walled off by fire, as you'll see probably in the next episode, but 
this one right here right now is so we're gonna need to switch back to our skull hammer there's another skull hammer switch we don't want to let our fairy go you're mine indentured servitude all right so first thing though another letter is this the irs did you pay your taxes viewers good evening who's this from Social distancing. How have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship. Oh, it's a rare roll. Okay. I was really scared, but they're actually they're all actually they're all actually nice for pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo's a real big guy. Oh, he's crying. She's making fun of his emotional vulnerability. One of them is named Nudge. His beard makes him look pretty okay. Interesting names. And then of course our boy Nico. Help them all out with their chores, and they paid me for it. Aw, that's nice. And she's going to let us keep the telescope. That's very sweet. Errol, always thinking of us. She did some chores, and... Now we have to take her allowance. Go ahead and bonk that out of the way, and let's do one last upgrade before we move the plot along. Not true. One last upgrade before we do one other upgrade next time, which will move the plot along, I think, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But another, another P goddess. We're actually gonna be able to do some of the stuff that we did previously. Uh, that's been kind of alluded to by the fish that have been around, but for now We will enjoy now we have 99 So we have all the arrows in the game and that's It for today. So thanks for watching everybody. I've been D Mike This has been the Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker HD and I'll see you next time for more If you enjoyed this video if you could like comment and subscribe and watch the YouTube shorts. I'll see you next time Bye